Hi, this is Jen Kelly. I am here with another WTFPD uh, update on what's going on with faculty professional development. And we're going to take a look at Cornerstone and just give a quick little overview of that um, to get you started and give you a few best practices. Um, first thing is Cornerstone is located inside inside COD. So that's the portal inside.cod.edu and it is under work tools as you can see here here <laughs> you can see here um, it is best to use Firefox or Chrome when using Cornerstone um, Safari does not work well with Cornerstone and Internet Explorer doesn't work well with anything so the recommendation is Firefox or Chrome so we're logged in. I'm going to click into Cornerstone. Here we go. This is what your home page looks like. Um, you can view your transcript from here, which is nice. You can see any upcoming sessions that you have scheduled, online training, etc. Um, we'll look at the transcript at a separate time, but right now I just want to point you to the calendar, which is the easiest place for you to find events that are coming up that will be eligible for faculty professional development hours. So we'll click on events calendar. We can see all the upcoming events for the rest of February, but not all of those are eligible. Um, you can, if there's something that's really interesting to you and you're just browsing through and you're like, oh, are Tuesdays at 2 eligible? You can hover over Tuesdays at 2 and you'll see right at the beginning of the description underneath the instructors, there's in square brackets says PDH, and that means that it's eligible for PDH hours. So that's good if you're just like quickly browsing and want to know if something is eligible um, before you click through and register. But the more comprehensive way to do this is to go over here on the left hand side and click add subject filters. You can drop down this menu, click the little plus here, in the box and then scroll through and click this and add it but an even quicker way close that up is to just go up here and type faculty but spell it right there you go and click the plus on faculty professional development hour score eligible you could also type in score you could type in eligible any of those words but the thing that's probably going to occur to you is faculty it occurs to me anyway so I'm gonna hit done I've now eliminated everything on the calendar that is not eligible for um, professional development, the required professional development. Um, that doesn't mean that some things won't not show up. Um, that is to say, we are doing this all by hand and trying to get everything right, but there will be mistakes and there will be things that are missing. So if there's something that you think should be on there and is not, um, let me know. And if there is any kind of question um, about hours or whatever, um, you can just email me and let me know. Sound good? Thanks.